Today we are embarking on the You Have One Day Challenge. Uh, 24 hours till a massive horde of zombies spawns as Babbage T. Quandale Monroe, uh, who has all of the negative traits. He's unfit, very underweight, illiterate, uh, weak, uh, among a plethora of other drawbacks. I'm going to go ahead and grab this alarm clock. This might come in handy for the strategy I'm going to employ here. Uh, it will be extremely, well, needless to say, it will be extremely difficult to do anything let alone uh, survive. This man needs to consume an entire cake after crossing the street in order to summon the energy to continue walking. I think he will not perform well if he's being pursued by a massive horde of zombies. We have died several times in the attempts at just barely getting by for this challenge, and so far nothing has worked. I'm going to take pop and maybe one thing of orange soda. Um, Mainly just using this as a container for my water, a, a containment device, if you will. Um, and I'm going to hit the bathroom, but not to drop a, uh, a bomb in it. I'm going to fill up my water, fill up on water before the challenge begins. Because as you may know, the bathroom is... Actually, you, can't, you have no bathroom need in this game. I always thought that would be a requirement. Um... What other things are we dealing with here? Uh, we are, uh, like, basically emaciated, so we need some sort of weight gain. We need a lot of calories. This isn't super urgent, though. More urgent is just getting... Uh, there's not really anything in this starter house. There's a horrible starter house to spawn in. We're going to need to disassemble a lot of beds to get carpentry experience. I've got a lot of things on my mind. We're going to try to hit the hardware store first, as well as this diner. Oh, but I did manage to get... Oh, the alarm clock is actually doubling over as a watch. So as you can see, it's 9.40 a.m. And in approximately one day, they will spawn. I believe it's at 9 a.m. on the second day. 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., somewhere around there. Um, and just come and kill me. Uh, let's see if there is a back kitchen here. Okay, there is, like, a set of fridges. Orange soda. Um, there may be ice cream. Okay, I will eat an entire ice cream here just for a moment, but I'm not going to carry any of it with me because the ice cream will simply be too heavy and I might, like, die under the weight of the ice cream. Uh, there is a cop with uh, body armor, but the body armor isn't really going to do me much good here. Uh, if we could find a pitchfork, I would say that's about the one item that I would use as a weapon. I didn't get a chance to eat that ice cream. I'm going to go ahead and eat the ice cream as I walk through the park. Um... I am afraid of the indoors. I am playing as a claustrophobic character, so he's already in a massive state of panic. Um, if we do manage to find a sledgehammer, this run is often won via sledgehammer. This character, however, will not fare much better simply because he is so weak that he will need to get back down the stairs in order to obtain water and food to survive for, like, he will run out of everything within 24 hours because he's just so strangely hungry. And he's also emaciated, don't forget that. Uh, so we will start taking damage if we don't find some food for ourselves. And that we really are going to need to make trips either way. But if we can just find some way to be not so completely bad for like 24 hours, this just might work. Um, I'm going to go in with the hammer and the screwdriver right off the bat. We do have three planks here, which is fantastic. I'm going to wait a little while. I'll put these on the ground, though, just to remind myself that these are here. Um, we're going to need to collect as many planks as possible, because assuming that we don't find the one item that lets us kind of change up the whole playthrough, which is the sledgehammer, um, I'm going to need to rely on leading the zombies down a different path while I slowly gain experience and learn to deal with them better. But we just can't count on that right from the get-go. Hammer, screwdriver, box of nails. We do also need a saw, and there is a saw. Amazing. All right. Wow. Not really that lucky, though. I mean, like, those things are pretty much going to be in here. There is also farming equipment, which we'll, beginning, we'll begin to need to rely upon in order to um, survive. Let's go ahead and take these planks into our inventory for just a moment. I know the thought of th carrying three planks in our hands is almost too insane to fathom but um it's really it's really the only option here um i need to get those out of my hands of course as soon as possible though just to in order to prevent major fatigue from growing in me 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my way around town. Whoops, I did not grab that plank. It is nicer to grab these planks pre-assembled, if you will. Simply because I'm going to fail at scrapping most of the furniture that I take apart. I am very bad at carpentry, but I need one level of carpentry experience if I'm going to do the, oh my god, I just found a sledgehammer. Not gonna lie, I tried this about 40 or 45 times the other night. And I didn't get a sledgehammer any of the times. The entire run is back. This is the best run I've ever had. Uh, this is actually... I think I spawned in, not gonna lie, a total of 50 times. Only one of them did I get a sledgehammer. Uh, wow, okay. Alright, plan B. I'm embarking on plan B. Oh god, that one just totally, like, nonchalant just hopped down. Uh, okay, I'm going to equip the sledgehammer. This has totally changed the nature of the run. I have to figure out, gather my thoughts again. This was very lucky, but still, life does not get much easier from here. Okay, I'm going to... I mean, it does. But still, I am basically dealing with the world's worst human being. Okay, the answer may seem obvious, but still, think about it. We need to prepare an entire building before tomorrow, so we still need to go through the absurd and horrible list of tasks that I was just telling you about. And then it doesn't get much better even after that. Okay, why am I yelling in front of a building? So what I want to go ahead and do here is just draw all of them out of this building. If there are any in there, to make the way safe for me to do what I'm about to do in it. So I'm going to take down the stairs, but uh, it would be very stupid and unsafe to take down the stairs right away. I'm going to leave the sledgehammer at the base of these stairs. I hope this does isn't what gets me killed. I'm actually going to leave it slightly out front just because this area could get very crowded if, uh, you know, things get hairy. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the pitchfork because I'm going to need to use the pitchfork to do just a little bit of combat. Let me grab back up the saw that... Uh, whoops, I just paused. That was almost too heavy to even fathom that sledgehammer. So now I'm going to have to... I'm still going to need to use the wood. Um, the garden fork I could also attach to my back. That may be the last of the weight that I can carry around, though. Okay, we'll start to worry about our weight sooner or later, but I'm, it's not as urgent anymore as I thought it was. Okay. The pitchfork is a fantastic weapon here. We have only one garden fork. Or keep that in mind. Garden fork, pitchfork, same thing. There's no way I can kill this many. Unless if I get a few, unless if I get that slight lunge stab. Nope, I didn't get the lunge stab. Okay. I have a train on me. Uh, I don't want to leave these ones too close to the building. It looks like I've drawn a few out of the building. Jesus Christ, we got some inmates in there. Bags would be nice, but maybe not right now. I only say that because this may be the only opportunity to get a bag. There may be no opportunity in the future. Like, it's going to get pretty bad. You might think to yourself, hey, hey, you just found a sledgehammer. Runs over, right? Not exactly the case, homie. Um, the truth is that we still need to find a way to craft walkways somehow. Like, I could get myself safe and away from them in the next day or so. But where would I go? Where would I go, indeed? So I'm going to go ahead and stay down here for a little bit longer. I know, so brave of me. So brave of me to... Hang on a second. I thought I heard one of them, like, coming after me. So brave of me to stay at the scene in the way of danger. But I'm not the hero here today. Ooh, actually, a rope would be amazing. Rope? My god, we'll be able to get up and down. Can you even imagine? Can you even imagine? How, how lucky is that? Wow. Look at me go. Yeah, I don't want to take any more risks. I don't want to take any more risks. Okay, you know, I'm still going to stay down here. I'm going to be brave. Stay on the ground level. Take apart some beds to improve my carpentry experience fast. 60 kg up and down. I need to get multiple places for myself to get up and down, though. 
and hopefully not just on this building. So I'm still going to need to construct the dreaded wooden walkway here. Man. Ah, finding the pitchfork this early was really helpful because I did need to clear out eight or ten of them. What kind of condition is on it anyway? Pitchfork, pitchfork, pitchfork. Okay, garden fork, honestly, condition 75% or so right there. Not too bad. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get in here, though. I don't want to die to one over there. Nope. Okay, unless if one falls down the stairs, I should win this fight. Nobody has fallen down the stairs. Okay. Be very, very careful on doorways. Be very careful on doorways. There is a proper method to opening a door. Okay, now I will disassemble the beds. We are embarking on phase two of the insane task of making the unimprovable man better. His spear level is really improving so slowly. Okay, carpentry skill improves at a dramatic rate when destroying beds, or when dismantling beds, rather. If we can find coffee still, too. Nope, just a water bottle. Though. I will take a water bottle. Um, uh, whoops, nope. Uh, actually, I'll put that one away. Ground level stuff we could take up, but there will be enough on the upper floors probably to keep me going for a few more days. Maybe even a week. Maybe even a week. I'm going to disassemble the tables and the beds, though, because we don't have time to waste on these worthless chairs. They just simply don't give us much carpentry experience. What do we get? 3.5 for that first one. Let's see what we get for the table. I'm not even going to speed up time because I don't want a zombie to bite my back like it did the last time I was playing, and I was very sad. Okay, so 5.25. So what is that? 1.75? Also because we're on the ground level. One of them could just literally walk in the window. And I am afraid. You did your apprenticeship in carpentry destroying beds? Yeah. See, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Project Zomboid, the most realistic game ever made. Seven. Seven. What were we at? 5.25. Okay, so 5.25 to seven. So couches are actually... Ah! Oh. oh my god, I was so sure I was dead. How did they even... Jesus. What? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I should be dead right now. I should be dead. I should be in heaven right now. Uh, ooh. Dude, there aren't supposed to be that many spawning in on this map. It's okay. My luck has so far kept up. I think that was the last amount of luck. I think I used up the last of the luck, though. I used my last um, courage point. Yes. <sighs> it is important to clear out this building, so that's okay. I just have to be very, very careful with this character because he is going to die. All right, no, zero risks now, zero risks. Now I'm doing what needs to be done. I'm going to grab the sledgehammer now. Okay, I will cut off the lower floor because I simply know that I will have enough in this, well, hang on, let's clear out the immediate vicinity. Ooh. Some of them just like hang out in the building when you do that. Okay, all right. Well played, well played, Project Zomboid. Very good. Uh, I'm going to drop off all of my carpentry equipment right here just because I don't want to keep carrying around a heavy load. Uh, actually, I just mean nails. Just the nails. The rope and the sheet rope can stay here too because those will be useful in time. Uh, let me see. Okay, I've got a nail. I've got a sheet rope. I should be able to make more... Um, Ways down from up here. Pop. I will just drink it right now. Why not? 5.01. Now we go in and destroy the stairway because I've had it with these surprises. It seems that there are more zombies spawning on this map than I really like gave it credit for at first. Um, <sighs> Smooth, baby. Smooth, baby. 
Oh, you know what I can do right here? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab the clothing off of this zombie. Make it into a sheet rope. Uh, maybe the pants? Uh, craft sheet rope. Yeah, we'll craft a sheet rope. Take all of this. Make it into a sheet rope. Listen. Listen for zombies, though. Okay, we've got two sheet ropes, three sheet ropes. And now we've got some nails. I just dropped those on the floor above us. I can take those and make one escape for myself. Uh, open box of nails. Oh no, I just did it on the ground, didn't I? Well, it'll be in my inventory. I just want one way out. Just one. Maybe from this... Mm, I believe this is north, a northerly direction in-game. Okay, I will now add a fabric escape rope. Uh, I can actually remove it. I will remove it for now just because I don't want them to take it down, but I will put it on the ground. Great. Okay, so the escape rope is prepared. Now I will destroy this. Oh, wait, no, I need to be able to crawl back up in here. My bad. Whoops. Grab the sheet ropes. Grab the sheet ropes. Okay, now add the, sca the escape rope. Then we will destroy the stairway, and then we will climb back up in. Once we are in here, we are going to set about the long task of obtaining the carpentry experience needed. And it's not like challenge over yet. We're still going to need to get back up and down, so we're going to be spending the next few days dodging a massive horde of zombies, um, which I will hopefully not fall Wily Coyote style into. Like, which I did a lot. <laughs> Died in this challenge like five times playtesting this. I got streamer levels of luck today. Ooh. Okay, I will equip the sledgehammer now. I am about to ascend. I'm about to ascend. Oops, okay, we will destroy... It. Nope, the stairway. I don't care about the banister. They can't climb that. Okay. Okay. Let's just make sure there's no kind of weird, funny business in, like, the old Project Zomboid maps. Nope. I'm good, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and climb back up into the building and then take the sheet rope back up. This is the only way to do this. Yeah, see, there we go. There's the sheet rope. And, woo. Wow, nice. They've actually slowed down the sheet rope climb speed. Um, as long as there's no zombie waiting for me when I get back up to the window... Which would really be the old... Oh man, it's crazy that you can't fail that as this character. That seems like such a feat of athletics. <laughs> Excuse me. Carry all of that stuff up here. Okay, so the next thing we'll be able to do now... Oh, let's also grab those sheet ropes. Just bring them back up. Remove the escape rope. Just so we can save it. We might not have that many pieces of zombie clothing where we're going. Now the next task is to empty out the building. Now we deal with just the utter horror of being like a smoker, uh, high exertion, fairly heavy load. Uh, just all of my negative traits all combined into one. I'm going to go ahead and put down the nails too and the saw and the hammer and screwdriver. I don't really need them right this instant because I'm just focusing on clearing out this building right now. Um... Like, I'm going combat boy mode for a couple seconds. Super pro Project Zomboid combat boy mode, which actually means a lot of listening, so I'm going to be a little more quiet. Okay, you open a door by yelling. I really should wait a little bit longer. Yell. Well, I'm still being kind of chancy here with building it as is. Don't... Oh god, I'm already tired. It's only 5.20 p.m. I get early at like a very geriatric time of day. Sutando uh, Noryoku, thank you very much for the prime. I'm just afraid that they're going to come at me from the upper floors, so I'm not going to shout. Just open the door and back away. Open the door and back away. Open the door and back away. And if there are more behind the door, then that's when you panic. That's the right thing to do there. All right, I have a little bit more time to play with because... Oh, I should have closed this door behind myself. So I don't get any other threats. Open the door and back away. Yell, because one might be right around on the corner, you know? Okay, then run in so that you put some distance between your... Well, that's as fast as I can run. How will I sleep in such an extreme state of panic? I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to find a very large room to sleep in. Probably. Babbage... 
Well, Babbage can't, uh, Babbage T. Quandale, our protagonist, uh, would probably fail at hopping a fence. It looks like they've already jumped out of this window, which would be explained by the broken down door and the shattered glass, but, like, let's go find out if there's still any in here, I guess. Yeah, it does sound like there's something else behind there. Yeah, think happy thoughts. That's the right idea. Think happy thoughts. Now we're going to forego getting all the carpentry experience the last time I was in a rush. Um, that rain... That one I saw coming. Hang on a second. I'm just going to go into options because I wasn't as scared for that time because I was ready. I'm just going to turn down that sound effect slightly. I know that like put out somebody's speakers. <laughs> so sorry about that. It, it honestly makes the game way more immersive. And it kind of gives me better reaction time when it's that loud, but... <laughs> Hang on a second. This guy's taking a long time to kill. Oh, jeez. He was in, like, American underwear. Look at that. Uh, we may have the rare opportunity to sleep tonight. Usually I can't sleep in this challenge, and we've got plenty of time before the hordes arrive, too. Just be careful here. Be careful. Come on, AA. We've still got half the tower to go up. We have to clear this out. The good news about this tower is there's plenty of food in it. Now, this scenario, yes, it does have a lot of loot in it, but that's because there's only one way to spawn into this scenario. There's no other, like... You can't change the loot settings unless if somebody were to make it a custom map. Um, it's just because it has custom spawn scenario, uh, scenario settings where, like, tons of them do spawn day by day as you go... Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it's 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 rough enough already to begin with. So this amount of loot is kind of necessary. Like, if loot were more copious, you just you just be bare-handing it against them. I do kind of like these ones, too, where you have a lot of stuff to use. Like, the mall playthrough I was always a big fan of. Especially the Mall of America type of deal. I think that has a good ring to it. Turn it back up. <laughs> okay, I will turn it halfway back up. It does actually help my reaction time. There we go. So got, there's nothing like it in this game when you're playing multiplayer and you start to hear the sound of people's voices off in the distance. It is kind of this Daisy-like feeling, you know. I think that was why I got into Zomboid in the first place, because I liked Daisy a lot, but Daisy was so established at the time that I was like, ah. Everybody's already kind of done Daisy, who was going to do Daisy, and I was like, all right, I'll find my own zombie game. And Zomboid was, like, pretty small compared to how big it is, I guess, now then. Although it had a huge run in 2013 of it. So I guess that was after that wave. Okay. Okay, so there were no other zombies in the building. I wanted to be really careful about that just to make sure, because the next phase of our journey, we need to make sure we don't have a lot of them around. Um, I've got enough nails to pretty much take me through the rest of this part. Let's just get a look at the town around. There is one other zombie. It appears on the roof of the bank. What we're basically going to be doing here is this. I'm going to level up my carpentry in here so that I can construct walkways and get around to the other buildings as we go through the playthrough. And then hopefully start farming the rooftops. Um, Today, it might be prudent to take down the staircase in one other building and maybe bring some farming materials over here just before nightfall, only because those are the things that's going to be implausible to find later. But I don't really trust myself with this little sleep, so I don't really know what to do here. There's no perfect answer. Um, am I, I'm a little bit hungry. I think it would... It would probably serve me to see if I could find some ice cream in here or dairy or like da perishable dairy to eat. Eating all of the perishables first is because the fact that I found a sledgehammer so early on totally changes the nature of the challenge. Um, I was not planning on this, but the fact that I did basically gets me to my ultimate plan and just avoids a lot of dodging. Uh, let's just avoid eating that. Let's go have more perishables. Uh, ground beef I could probably throw in the oven, but maybe I'll save that for tomorrow or the next day. Um, just because I'm really slow right now and I won't be able to get back up. I might burn down the whole building and I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I mean, like, I just won't have that much stuff left. <laughs> I've seen people burn, burn down this whole building. The more traditional way to play this scenario is to just light a campfire at the base of this building and then run thousands of zombies through the campfire. <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of... 
I, I don't even think it would be plausible with this character just because he was he would run out of breath faster than he would do that. He might gain some fitness levels, but where would you go? So I was just trying to think to myself, how would I even play through this scenario as this character? So now we have a little bit more time. Um, we're not in such a severe state of panic anymore. So the reason why our claustrophobia has died down, I think, is because we're in a main room. So we may have to sleep on the couch, unless if I can go into the bedroom fast enough and go to sleep. Nope, I get immediately panicked when I go into the bedroom because it's just too... Um, the bedroom is like too small for me, so I get afraid of the bedroom. But I should be able to sleep... No, I'm still a little bit panicked. Okay, we'll have to wait for that panic to go down, but I will be able to sleep eventually. Like I said, I'm not exactly a model human being. Like, I'm... <laughs> Basically, just like a human vegetable. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to stay in this living room, and I won't chance the panic of going into one of those bedrooms, because it would be nice to wake up before the horde comes. Maybe I'll get, like, one more thing of milk. There's also mar uh, margarine in here that has 3,200 calories, which is pretty insane. Okay, yeah, I'll have the margarine. Um, the margarine might keep better, though, in case of the power goes off fast. So let's just have produce. Or produce and, like, non-processed types of things. Corn, um, wait, will any of this make me sick? I don't think so, because remember, I do have a weak stomach as well. Um, ice cream will actually keep long beyond the apocalypse, so I'm going to save that for a while. I could eat that, you know, a week or a month from now if I wanted to. Pickles keep... <laughs> Pickles keep forever. Do they in your fridge if you don't pickle them? Since it's already been pickled? Yeah, I'm gonna save I'm gonna save that margarine for the good days in the future to come. Oh yeah. And like a whole day of eating two sticks of butter and being hungry but getting fatter. It's basically how weight works in this. Um, we will continue to eat all of... Okay, there we go. I know I said non-processed, -process, but processed cheese. It will go bad. Okay, wait a second. The sausage I just nearly ate. Uncooked food and died. Um, just for the sake of maybe getting to bed a little bit earlier, I'm going to... And I am a restless sleeper, keep in mind, so I might wake up before the challenge time ends. I'm 60 kg, and I'm ready to tango. I don't really trust this room totally, though, because the door is blown out, and just on the off chance that I did miss one zombie in here, I'm going to go ahead and sleep in a big room. Why is it so dark over here? Okay, yeah, we are like... Okay, we are at midnight, but they don't spawn at, at midnight, fortunately. Oh, we might even be able to get, like, a generator here. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be interesting? Okay, you going to let time pass by. Cool, so I get um, less panicked here. What else could I do? I could sledgehammer down the walls in there to maybe sleep in a bed and get be get better quality of sleep, but I'm not sure if the room definitions are actually going to allow that since it's a prefab. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I will sleep if I can. Okay. Um, I didn't get bit or anything. I was just trying to figure out why I was queasy right there. Oh, it's because I'm a hypochondriac, I'm pretty sure. Okay, 7 a.m., so I do actually have a little bit of time before the horde comes, but I'm still tired. Ooh, this is actually kind of tricky. So before I handle any type of carpentry need... Um... Ah... Uh, yeah, you can't break down the walls to make the rooms bigger. So he's stuck with the room definitions, but fortunately... The living rooms in here are big enough that he doesn't get panicked because of his claustrophobia. I can't remember whether it's 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. that they spawn in, but I'm not going to chance it. Like, I could go for a last-ditch run, but just my luck has not been very good with that type of thing lately, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay in here and stick to the plan. So I'm just going to sit down because now the playthrough gets to be a lot more slow, and, like, we're going to need to do a lot of balancing. So, basically, now that we've cut off the lower floor, our goal here <laughs> is going to be to survive for the next week or month or year or however long we survive up here, making this man into a stronger version of himself. Babbage T. Quandale Monroe. 
And the very first task among those is going to be to get him a little bit fatter, but he's very quickly going to go through all of the food in this place. Um, we're going to be training his carpentry. We're going to be moving him from building to building. But we want to do... There's going to be a huge horde of zombies down on the ground all the time. So we're going to need ways of diverting them around. Um, we're probably going to have to divert the group and then make our way down to get seeds from the, um, from the hardware store. Um, and then come back up and hopefully cut them off. Keep going from place to place, sheet rope to sheet rope. Um, like multiple sheet ropes down and hopefully they won't claw them down. Uh, it's going to be kind of chancy, but if we manage to do it right, we could create a whole new civilization up here of just one man farming and getting fatter and fatter and less and less terrible at everything, doing push-ups, getting ripped, going on his grind, getting gains, and basically Babbage T. Quandale Monroe, um becomes like a mega chad while living on top of a building um over a massive horde of hungry zombies but that's going to take several months um and it all starts now i guess that is to say um okay so what can we do best with our resources over here the zombie horde should be spawning in right now uh the very first thing i want to do is make sure that i don't do anything outstandingly dumb and just cover up this entire walkway uh, and probably board the windows around so that I don't accidentally fall off. Because we're going to be walking around here a lot, and the fact that I've made it this far kind of makes me determined to do this as a long play now. Let's go ahead and put down our pitchfork. Um, I'm convinced that there's no zombies in here. Maybe famous last words, but yeah, like, if that's what it is, if that's how I die, then that's just how I die. Um, I will grab the saw, the hammer, and the screwdriver, and we will just start disassembling basically everything. Um, okay, so like I said, we want to keep maybe one bed intact, but the beds are going to most quickly give us experience, but we also, like, the beds are going to give us better quality of sleep, so we want to leave some of them. So I think I'm actually going to start by just disassembling all the useless stuff. Let's disassemble the tables because they give us a lot of experience. Um, the cabinets are also basically useless to us. We could, it's going to look horrible, but we'll just put everything on the ground. Um, our character is going to be tired for, really, for a while. Um, he's going to be pretty unhappy, too. So we might want to save some happiness items just because he's going to be trapped indoors. He's going to be getting more and more bored. Um, and then the boredom will lead to the kind of permanent unhappiness. So we need as much orange soda stockpiled as possible. Hang on a second. I heard... I'm hearing windows. I think that this is the horde spawning in below me and just not knowing how to get to me. Um, okay, yeah, you can see them. They're all down there. Uh, you can't really see them very well. If you can hear them. Yeah, a couple just went walking by down there. Are they out here too? Yeah, there's more. There's a lot more than there were yesterday. Like, if I were to look down directly, which I really do think that this game needs a way of, like, peering out a window and seeing directly below you. Yeah, there's more over there too. And you can bet that there's more underneath the place. Can I just look over here too without... Yep, there's a bunch at that window, or at least one. Okay, so there are tons spawning beneath me, and there are way more than that. Um, I might even just, like, insert a clip somewhere in this stream of my, um, of my horrible fall in one of my last playthroughs. <laughs> when I tried making, like, a wooden walkway just to confuse them. That was probably my best death, and I got it on camera. Like, of all time in this game. Easily the best death. Um, we don't really have any use for the doors either, so we can just disassemble those. All the low tables. Okay, alarm clocks are useful. I will keep the alarm clock on me, actually, because I'm going to use this. I'll throw those in my bag, I guess, as I go. Anything useful for me as I go throughout the building, just to kind of remind myself. All of the books, remember, are going to be totally useless for him because uh, he's illiterate, although the CDs might be helpful somehow if I manage to find a Walkman. Um, I don't know, like, would that entertain me? I'm pretty sure that this map doesn't have TV on it also, because it's one of the first ever PZ maps. Um, it may actually be the first one. I never played the earliest build, but I'm pretty sure this was the original map for the game, right? Jackson Cruz, 95. Thank you very much for the Prime. Hmm... Okay, yeah, my panic is starting to go back up. So we're going to be disassembling a lot of this. 
Uh, it's just occurring to me also that I may want to create like some sort of meaningful inventory down here. Just because there's going to be so much stuff to inventory from the whole place. Oh, and also, oh, how could I forget about this? Let me go ahead and eat that soup off of the stove. Because, yeah, look at how many. Jesus. Okay, so there's like now 40 or 50 of them outside. So there's going to be a massive growing number of maybe even thousands. Like, we might get that um, black horde rendering. Like, bug or whatever it is where the game just fails to render how many. Because we're going to be up here for a good long time. The only person I know who survived a very long time with this challenge is Cromulan Archer <laughs> because he managed to do the same thing, but he was doing it as a regular character and not an all negative traits character. So, oh, cool. We got a fresh cooked steak in there. Um, well, I'm already getting unhappy, so let's go ahead and eat it. You know, I'm too full to eat. The other thing too, I don't know if I can trust these cooked foods. I think I can, but I'm also too full. Uh, I may need to like heat back up the oven. Hang on a second. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll probably be able to get back down before I have to think about this. Let me just eat this whole steak. I'm pretty confident that this isn't going to kill me. All right, it wasn't even enough to get the full weight gain, but yeah, we do have a, a weak stomach, so we got to be careful with what we eat because we could just die <laughs> from it. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go ahead and see how many are in the front now, too. Not really that many have congregated on the front, but yeah, the back is pretty horrible. Didn't you like the... I think PZ has the best weather of all games. Um, at least it's, it's my favorite weather in a video game. I think that was one of the things that brought me back to the game. I had not played in a while, but when they did the animation system, back before the game looked this way, back when your characters were like all pixelated. Um, okay, uh... I know I'm kind of living on this floor, but I'm going to throw the corpse off here, too. Can I place it? No, I will just drop it. All right, I guess I'm going to be dropping corpses on the second floor, and we'll sleep on the third floor and above. Um, sickness from corpses doesn't transfer between levels. In the Man, it just occurs to me how much I... <laughs> I know a lot about this game. I mean, there's still more to... There's always more to explore in it, but... Yeah, sickness from corpses does not transfer between levels, so we should be okay there. At least the last time I was playing. Though it does seem like they've updated a lot. Okay. Disassemble. Uh, what is our carpentry skill at now? Once we get it to level one, we'll be good. I think that we'll make that our goal for today. It's already 5.30 p.m. on the second day. So we've basically lived now um, like 36 hours about. Um, or we're going on 36 hours now. I think we spawned in around 9 a.m. Because I managed to grab an alarm clock like right away. So I could just go back check myself on that. But disassembling the medical cabinets. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, isn't the weather in this game great? It's just such a good mood, man. Ah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I was I was going back. I think um, it was actually when I stepped away from YouTube for a while back in 2019. Like when I was like, I screw my channel. Like I'm not gonna make any more videos. Just like moving on to other stuff in life. It's a good thing that I didn't. I was just like, I was considering quitting YouTube then. I was just like, oh, I've been doing this for like two or three years. I'm not good at this. And then I, I started to just really enjoy gaming and I wanted to make a video game. And I was like, oh, I forgot that I have a channel. And I remember Noida caught my eye. I was like, ooh, that's a really neat idea for a game. And then they updated PZ and then NASCO messaged me. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I have a job again. <laughs> uh, I was just kind of like sitting around for a little while. So thank God for the PZ dev team, or I would be out of work right now. <laughs> okay, we have 510 calories from mustard, which is honestly pretty good. I'm going to keep on eating all the perishables here. Like, I don't want to run out of them, but I want to keep on getting that double up chevron, just because that's going to get me away from being so weak. We're just going to tack on the depression right here with all the stuff that we eat. We'll save this. This is a very valuable juice box. It could restore 10 happiness, my friends. Um, extremely valuable. I think I'm going to save all of the cooking for maybe one day. Because I, I feel like I would be better off just fully diverting my attention to the cooking. Um, maybe I will save some of these beds. Uh, let's just keep on taking things apart. Okay, another alarm clock. I'll take that off the ground as well and throw that into my backpack. Um, you'll see that this will be more useful when we start to kind of move around over a wider net of an area. 
and try to keep the zombies like at bay in there. Did I eat the bottle of? Oh wait a minute. Um, wait, did I eat the? Yeah, I ate a bottle of mustard. I mean, it, I was already pretty unhappy. I know my stomach is weak, but it's not a dangerous food. It's just a like a very untasty food. Dangerous food would be like uncooked chicken, or um something that's slightly poison, like berries or something like that. I would die from it. No, I'll just get sick from this. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I might want to find some kind of, like, antibiotics and painkillers now that I think of it. Uh, okay, cool. We found a value tech ported disc. Um, only, not only useful for playing CDs, but also potentially later on electrical if we use up all of the CDs and we've listened to everything over and over again and I've started to go insane. Um, I will disassemble the door, too. Have we hit, uh, carpentry level two yet? Man, I was so focused on speeding, speed running this, and then when I found the sledgehammer, I was just like, okay, let me make sure I figure out how to do everything the right way. If we hadn't found the sledgehammer, here's what I'll tell you what we would have done. We would have constructed an insane walkway on the roof of this building. Um, then we would have cut it off and kept disassembling and reassembling the planks just to keep ourselves safe from the zombies. But that's not how it went down this time. It's just a lot more, like, sec uh, extra steps if we do that. Uh, eventually, we may be able to still find some way of cutting them off completely. Uh, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble more hardwood shelves. Uh, going to leave the beds intact for a little while, because if I can, like, secure myself an actual bed to sleep in, that would be amazing. Um, my alarm clock will also go into this backpack. How many is that now? We have four alarm clocks and a Walkman. Wow, I must be like the richest person from the 90s. Do you know how insane that level of wealth is to have a Walkman and four alarm clocks? Well, maybe the Walkman in particular. The alarm clocks aren't as, like, exciting. But can I at least think? I at least like to think that's the way it is. Um, okay, since the day is ending and I just haven't really had time to do this. I mean, it's 4 a.m. I'm just going to go ahead and eat uh, another entire thing of ice cream. Okay, we're at 62 kg and rising. We're aiming at 80, but, I mean, time is passing by so fast, mainly because I'm just so extremely slow at doing everything. I'm basically speeding up the game for almost the entire time because this character is just so insanely slow. Love your stuff. Keep up the strong work. Strong work. Uh, what is strong? <laughs> strong. Strong. I mean, to be fair, we are making a lot of gains right here gains thank you very much for the sub panda fanfic i wonder if that's the panda fanfic that i read every night while i lay in bed all on my own i'm just gonna leave that thought with you for a minute i am flawed as a human being in many ways I have six, 69, 69, <laughs> 69 uh, health. Oh, the other thing that I'm forgetting about right here. Ah, why did I not remember this? Um, I was kind of thinking about the more urgent stuff, but uh, filling up all my bottles of water and all of the cooking pans and things like that, that will also be useful. We will bring those up to the top floor probably, just somewhere to keep all of our stuff. Although me walking among all these floors is kind of making me uneasy just because it's so easy to fall down that's it's like the most poorly designed staircase in the game uh oh my god there we go hmm hmm 73.5 okay so we are about to get the first level of carpentry and then we just won't be a giant Stinking pile of garbage completely. We have one. We're good at one thing, everyone. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's great. Whew. I am. Oh, isn't that cool? The way that it kind of uh, transitions color from green to gold. I like that. Okay, so we, honestly, carpentry is probably the thing we have the best shot at getting better. When I learned, yeah, you when you feel, <laughs> you learn how to build an Ikea desk. Okay, so phase two of the plan is complete. Let's go ahead and just see what we're dealing with downstairs again. 
I think the next thing that we want to do is start cooking actual food. Let's also just go ahead and eat this whole like thing of soup because this soup is going to start to get worse. Uh, we will eat the soup, eat anything perishable. We also want to cook any of the meat up here. This is like a real life zombie apocalypse. Um, and let's get all of the food together and just have a big cook off on one floor. Um, like a big southern style cook off, you know, just put everything into the into the pot, like a potluck, you know. Um, we will also take. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Um, yeah, let's just focus on getting all of the like items that could contain water filled with them. This feels like a real life zombie apocalypse now, guys. I would totally do this. I would get into my attic. I mean, it's not very comfortable up there, but I would get into the attic and I would fill all the bowls with water. And then I would sit up there alone and uh, wait for the end to come. Whatever I would do, I would be mostly alone. It would probably, I would probably just go back out just for more fun, even though that it wasn't safe. You would run out of food pretty fast. I would get so bored in the event of a real life zombie apocalypse, but you would also be so scared Thing. Actually, this somewhat happened to me in real life. When I was 18, I went through like a flood natural disaster. And there were people in my town who were like looting the town. Uh, very kind of effed up. Like how quickly society kind of breaks down. That like, oh, there was a flood. Like the whole town was out of water and power. There was no internet. And for basically the whole area around me. Um, I'm from Long Island. It was a hurricane. <laughs> this is for Hurricane Sandy. Like just the whole island was totally messed up. Um, there was like a curfew, there were police out, um, and I remember we went to a nearby town and somebody got angry at, like, my family because they thought that we were basically refugees and they were just, like, trash talking. I was like, how quickly people just turn into horrible versions of themselves. Um, but yeah, pretty awful. But honestly, was I bored? Was I excited? Um... Actually, come to think of it, there wasn't a single moment of it that was dull. It was pretty exciting. It was pretty freaking exciting. Um, we got off from school for about a week, and then my family lived in, like, a hotel for a month because our house was uh, not good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we made do. We made do. So, I don't know. Like, on the one hand, although this is kind of a grind right now, um, I'm also finding it kind of engaging because the fact of the matter is that at the very end of this long road of like grind, there is a payoff, you know, like, or there is something that we're going to have to risk. We're going to have to risk and wager it. Um, I know that butter stays good over the months, but does margarine? I haven't actually seen it. I, I'm pretty sure that this will stay good. I think the corn I can also eat. Let's just stick with the perishables. Perishables. And then we'll come back one day and we will have all of the meat in one massive meal. Yeah, we're on a double up chevron again. Primarily, I'm trying to keep the ice cream around. Let's also just keep disassembling doors and stuff like that. Okay, I mean, I, I really am not going to have a use for it anyway. I'll visually store away my inventory. If we can get it a little bit better with uh, carpentry too, we might be able to level them up to being able to do... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's useful. Like a rain catcher collector piece would be useful. Um, I'm not sure what else, though. Hmm. Yeah, you would die. You would die if you were in Florida. I can't do that. I would die in the attic in Florida. <laughs> I'd probably just be more annoyed at the amount of bugs and, like, rodents. I'm experiencing. Oh my god. So recently I found out that I have carpenter ants, um, which is not fun. It's not like they're nowhere near as bad as termites, but I had to like figure out that whole thing. God, that was such a journey. Okay, wait, that was the alarm. I mean, there's already a lot out there. Let's go ahead and see. Let's just go downstairs. Now that I have a goddamn alarm. Can you hear them like fussing over the alarm? Wait a second, I do not want to fall off of this. There is no railway there, it would appear. Be very, very careful. Okay, yeah, there are a lot right there. How many are there? 
That's at least two. Then what is out the front window? Oh God, there's there. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! It's the entire neighborhood. God, I'm feeling like Shaun of the Dead now. Except just, I'm not even as good as Sean. I mean, I know that Sean was kind of like a layabout. Recently, I went on a plane and I got to rewatch Shaun of the Dead. Great movie. Great movie. Still yet a lot more over there, too. It seems like they've kind of dispersed around the town, though. It may be, there may be an opportunity sooner or later to make a break for it. But I want to get a better look at what's around me. So let's go ahead and start to look at uh, which buildings nearby have no... Nothing dangerous underneath them. So if I go over to the building next to me over here, I will be able to um, get up on the rooftop and just see around me what is going on in the situation because it does not look particularly good. Um, I think I'm going to sledge down this wall too because I'm like, who cares if this is indoors or outdoors? Uh, we're going at it. We're going at it. I'm going to stop thinking about the meat situation for a little while. And just think about the present situation at hand. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Well, we'll destroy the window. And then we'll destroy the wall itself. There you go. Um, and uh, honestly, um, no, this building over here, I do not trust completely. We will go over to this building on this side. That is to say. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these planks. Now, we didn't have any planks that we grabbed from the ground floor because we were too busy with the sledgehammer when we first set all of this up. Uh, so we're going to be relying entirely on the planks that I scrapped. There was a very small chance of not scrapping any planks, but fortunately that didn't happen. Because um, <laughs> if that had happened, then I would have just had to jump down there and feed the myself is to, going uh, well, to them. L. Somehow it is. Hey, what's up? It's Beaver. How you doing, man? Get your email, sorry. It's taking me like an insane amount of time to just do anything. I've just not been myself. But yeah, nice that you're working on a project though too. Get on that like streaming slash video creation grind set. I like that. How's your day going, man? How's your streaming? Hmm. Ooh. Wait a second. Why am I unable to construct a floor out there? This is unacceptable. Um, that doesn't make any physical sense to me. Uh, that is kind of weird. I'll find you. No, I mean in truth, I've just been I've just been very behind on things. <laughs> I'm like slowly catching up with stuff in my life, but yeah, uh, I do apologize for that. That is kind of. Oh, I know why it happened. Whoops, whoops, a daisy. Uh, I didn't have nails in my inventory because there are some weird areas. Like there's the warehouse. I was trying to figure out, I got a bunch of PZ pros around me, like, well, actually, you know, it might be because, no, it was just that I didn't have nails. I feel so dumb. Okay, yes, now we can build, oh, 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 oh wooden floor. Okay, I'm going to speed up time. This is perfectly safe to do, more or less. Um, yep, yeah, there's zombies here. Now, they are attracted to being beneath me. There's more, there's many more that want me, but this does bode well for me, so... There will be more that show up day by day, but at least they disperse throughout the day. However, when I go down the stairs, they will immediately all be like, yum. So I'm going to need to be kind of careful with that. Um, although I do feel pretty good in the short term, though. Feeling kind of good. Uh, unfortunately, still only scrap wood here. Although we probably have a better chance at creating actual planks if we were to go... And like dismantle beds and similar fare. The nails are too far away. I couldn't grab them with my weaker arms. Everything about this man is just not as good as I would get in a normal person. Although I, I don't know why I've opted to carry this sledgehammer around with me. I just don't want to misplace the sledgehammer and be like, where did I put it? Uh, uh, honestly, though, this might not be bad for me. Because although he is slowly dying underneath the weight of the sledgehammer. He's also getting stronger. Let's go ahead and observe our character's fitness, shall we? Wow. Honestly, he is getting, it is like plausible to get the first few levels of these uh, stats with this character. Um, I know, can I get any better? You're thinking to yourself. Actually, I can. I mean, for the first few levels, you can gain fitness and strength. So we will carry around some heavy stuff with us. 
I've been carrying some heavy things around with me. Ooh, a cowboy hat. Although it is bloody, I'm also scared of my clothes because they're bloody. Let me go ahead and just wash the blood off of my clothes. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to do that. That's making me even more anxious beyond the fact that I haven't had a cigarette in a while. Hmm. Right, let's go ahead and wash all clothing. I mean, I may be getting dirty with other stuff, but I'm not getting dirty with blood anymore. So now everything, now that I'm completely soaking wet. Oh no, I'm not soaking wet. I guess I just dabbed some water on it. There's a whole variety of reasons why I might be. Also, is the heartbeat noise starting to... Let me just slightly turn down the ambience. I will do it even more, only because... I mean, it's already... <laughs> it's I've already done it. I think it kind of solidifies the point of the... Hang on a second, can I just totally turn it off? Apply, accept. Nope, it's definitely not an ambient sound then. Okay, so ambient, uh, where is, I guess it's just considered a sound then. Wait a second, let me try that one more time. I don't want to turn sound off. Okay, it's a sound then. I will turn down sound. Should I do this or should, does it make it more immersive? <laughs> oh, the one trait I don't take in this challenge is deaf, just because I feel like it makes the challenge boring, because there's no sound, you know. Uh, I forgot to do that. Anyway, it solidifies the whole point of the challenge that I am just a huge pile of garbage, but I think now that I've been playing it for a long enough time, you know what, I'm actually going to turn it up slightly, because I do like having some of it in my own ears, whether or not you like it. Still slightly too loud. Still, maybe... Did I just undo exactly what I said? All right, I will turn it down to that. But I'm afraid that I won't be able to hear something important. Okay, that is acceptable. It seems like there was a huge drop-off between those two sound levels. Am I the only one who noticed that? Ooh, no, I keep the jump scare loud because I like it when my audience gets scared. I like to annoy everyone who's watching it. I like them to be upset equally upset if not more upset than me because i want to be the least upset one yeah um we're going to take apart some of the beds simply because i need planks i have only one plank right here i'm also kind of starting to run out of planks which is making me a little bit uneasy um i don't have as many opportunities and he really didn't do as good with this scrap wood as he potentially could have um so let's go ahead across to this next building and then uh, we could sheet rope our way. We could sledgehammer, fence, and then sheet rope our way into some of the houses. But let's also just go ahead and see. We don't actually have enough experience in order to create. Where is it? We have a uh, log wall. No, not a log wall frame. Um, stairs. A uh, fence. Yeah, we need to create a fence. So we need level two carpentry. Not that, like, not uh, unfeasible for this character. He could get to that level, but it might take more uh time and space between us and that level of it you know i'm not sure if it's gonna happen right away okay but we are still 63 kg and rising so i think once we hit 70 also we're going to get from where is it very underweight to just regular underweight though the best we can do at any moment is two chevrons up so even though that i'm hungry i'm still gaining weight so don't worry about that we want to um now we want to kind of conserve the food and make it last can't hear the game at all. Oh, you know what? You know, that may have turned down all of them. I'm just going to have everyone live with the uh, horrible, the horrible sound of that. Yeah, because then the game is actually kind of quiet. Yeah, that's true. All right. I, I don't know why I'm getting a jump scare there. I guess that one zombie was alone. Um, I will build a floor here. And here. Oh God. Okay, why can't I see anything around me? Uh, flashlight, sir. This is really strange rendering. <laughs> this is like really bizarre. I don't know why it's rendering this way. Why is it doing this? Uh, okay, time to eat some grapes. Uh, just sing a little song and eat some grapes and you'll feel better. Yay. 
this is what happened to me. I would start singing Disney songs when I was dark and I was in like the downstairs of my house as al- alone as a kid because I was afraid of the dark. Um, I was afraid that someone would like jump out. Uh, please don't let there be an... Okay. Yeah. So the neighborhood is pretty much packed with them. Like this is very high spawns. Oh God. There's even some on the ground just over there. What are those ones even doing? Are those... Oh, those are the ones that I killed. I thought those were fake dead ones. Nope. Those are real dead ones. So this is a pharmacy that we're over, which I don't trust. Um, although it's kind of tricky to think about, how could I get them all to come over to one part of a building? Because I'm going to need to get down in another area. So I could shout at them from up here. Potentially. Yeah, I mean, I am getting most of them in the immediate area. You want to be careful not to vault over the wall accidentally here. But I think I'm pretty satisfied with that amount of craziness. I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I'm going to sledgehammer this fence over here as well. Destroy. Here we go. Can I just rotate up? There we go. All right, let's destroy this fence. Because I don't want to accidentally vault onto the ground. That would be, that would be pretty bad. Ideally, I'll also construct some fences over here too. Hi. Hey friends. Okay, so now I'm actually technically considered outside, not even on top of the building anymore. I guess on top of the building was outside, but we get a better look at it. So if I do this, it should start to attract them away from that other building. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna go back in because I'm completely exhausted from today. Now our character did get a little bit better. Babbage T, Quandale Monroe, and we're also gonna go ahead and start to have him do some exercises, you know? like push-ups, sit-ups, and stuff like that, maybe some burpees, um, without a bag on our back, um, because I don't really want to die from doing the exercise. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to take that off first. Because I will throw down the duffel bag, um, and just remind me not to sleep on this floor, I, or I will probably die. In fact, I'm just going to destroy this bed. I'm going to disassemble this couch, because I'm leaving corpses on this floor, and I will get sick if I sleep near by them. And I'm pretty sure that's like instant death for this character if he gets sick from corpses. Uh, sledgehammer I will put on the ground, but I will frequent this floor from time to time. Okay, now I've got only one up chevron. No. Uh, um, is Molot... Nothing is against the rules here. My character is so bad that absolutely nothing is against the rules. This character is just that bad. Like, the second that he meets them, if there is... Oh, a uh, beer bottle will actually take away some unhappiness. We'll save that for later for when he needs his happiness back. Um, I will just basically take all of these packaged foods, especially, like, the meats and stuff like that. Oysters, sausages, sausage... Ooh, we could make, a, like, a good kielbasa or something bacon and I'm actually being crushed by the weight of the bacon and the meat in my hands and I will put it all into the oven now fortunately there's nothing that I could possibly mess up here maybe it has like differential cooking speeds I don't really know how um well I don't think I want the packages of things in the oven not honestly sure if the oysters will do too well in the oven either but we'll put in the ham or whoops the salmon all of the like regular meats into the oven I don't want to... If I accidentally set this on fire, I am immediately dead. I'm also going to just fill up a water bottle. Um, and maybe this empty cooking pot in case if I do something outstandingly dumb accidentally. Just because... Um, yeah, you can, I can put out a fire. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure. Can this character eat a raw oyster or will he die? Dude, oysters are great. Never I have oysters with like horseradish or something like that. My sister's really into them. Um, although, I just feel like it's kind of like eating just straight horseradish. So, I I mean, I like the taste of horseradish, though. So, it's kind of a win, I guess. Right, the oven is on, baby. Uh, it is very foggy. What day are we on now? We are on 7.50 a.m., so this is the third day. I guess we spawned in on July 10th. It's kind of turning into like cooking nice with AA. Nice to see some PC. Just got back into myself. Just got back into you. Ah, oh, fantastic. 
You were out of yours. I was kind of in a funk, if that's what you mean. Hey, Gesundheit. Thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, I like I like that. I was kind of out of myself recently. It's good to be back in PZ. I, hang on a second. Okay, this is not... Oh, I might not be able to get it out of the oven fast enough and to prevent, in order to prevent the burning from occurring. Hang on a second. Fresh cooked, fresh uncooked. Why is this one... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about differential cooking speeds. Uh, the bacon is ready. Oven baked. Baked bacon. Maybe that was a bit of a risk for me to do that. All right. Well, it is burning. But it will decrease my unhappiness. But, I mean, as an American, I enjoy the burnt bacon slightly. Fantastic. Uh, how is our weight doing? Okay, we're on a double chevron up. This is good. Wow. All right, looks like the ground beef is going to be ready first. Now, we, when have we done cooking together? I'm like Martha Stewart. Wow. Wow. Or I could be like one of those British cooking shows where they just, like... Um, like, just uh, insult the person for hours on end. You are a worthless human being. Who put you in charge of a stove? How dare you? All right, is everything fully cooked? Okay, we are Yeah, we are getting, like, the post-oven burning. But it will only my, slightly decrease my unhappiness. You know, cooked ground beef is pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty delicious. Better hot. Uh, I guess I could have done that. All right. Well, now I'm too full. Oh, I forgot to turn off the oven. Thank you. The oven is off. All right. Well, we have the non-perishables still around. Uh, two days in. We are 3 kg up. I think it's time to... Uh, we'll go closer to our bed. Hang on a second. Am I hungry enough to... Nope. I'm still too full to eat. Um... Uh, I think it would probably be better to put the salmon and the sausages into the fridge. Should be okay for tomorrow. Peas, we could probably cook these in a pot. Mixed vegetables, fresh frozen. Oh, whoops, I forgot to get the peas um, into the freezer and the fresh corn into the freezer. Did I do that with the oysters too? Uh, I'll just freeze them anyway. You know, I guess I could freeze the other foods, but I'm going to eat it too fast for it to matter. Let's go to sleep now again. Uh, and then tomorrow, or, you know, in the evening when we wake up, we'll be ready to gain some more weight. Although I think I'm just going to do some push-ups before bed. Something like that. Also, Muffin Man 001 thank you very much for the prime. The waiting for eating is torture. I mean, now he's feeling well-fed. As long as we feed him crackers or, you know, something like light fare, just to keep his appetite over. Um, let's see. Okay, if we go in here, exercise. We may be too tired to exercise, though. We don't have a barbell, so we can't really do it. Although, the last time I checked, the barbell wasn't really that much more effective. Uh, too exhausted to exercise. Yeah, so we can't do it right here. Okay, so now we just wait for the, uh, panic to calm down. Uh, we didn't set a fire, so we can put the cooking pot down. I also just should fill these up as well. Hmm... Uh, saucepans, we could fill those with water. Teacup, could fill that. What else? Water bottles are pretty much mostly full already. Uh, we'll top them off. Just because we're going to be out of water before you know it. The orange soda, I just kind of want to leave in that, uh, containment device. Because... <laughs> containment. Uh, because it, it, even the small amount of unhappiness it could get me later on or um, prevent me from getting later on, is worth it to keep that orange soda in its bottle. All right, I will put these down. Uh, maybe grab one of them just to offset some of the insane amounts of thirst I'm getting. Cool, so three saucepans with water. I've got tons of water here to make me last for days. I'm just making my way up. Uh, and then I will go to sleep. I think I'm barely okay somehow. Maybe I'll be able to move the bed later. How many hours of sleep is he able to get now, even with Restless Sleeper? Okay, so he's still tired. Oh, that's a nice thunderstorm. What did I tell you about the weather in this game? Nice. Nice. That's good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see if, now that we're awake, if we can do a little bit of, like, exercise. We'll do some squats. 
see if we can get a better shape. Because if we get more regularity of this, we will get better results. 463 and 262. Let's see what we get if we do 60 minutes of squats. Just think about how exciting that will be for us. Gains. Gains. Oh. I drink muscle milk. I make sure that I have at least 250 grams of protein a day. I balance my macros. It's horrible for my uh, kidneys and liver. But you know what? I won't live that long anyway. Life is short, man. And that thunder is nice. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Turn up that ambiance. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can just be treated to the constant sound of heart, heart in your uh, ears. Ooh, yeah. Whoops. I am the grind. Look at me. Look at me go. All right. Uh, regular exercise is good. I mean, I'm going to have more time for it on the next couple of days. I guess I'm too exhausted again now. All right. But I'm tired again. Got up, did some exercise, waited for night. I'll wake up on day four. Whoops. I woke up immediately. Uh, and I am too tired to sleep and I am high exertion again. Wow. All right. So I guess all I can really do is just, well, I could sleep again. I remember, he wakes up like that, like super fast. He probably will never get full not tired. He's always going to have drowsy. That's very rare that he got rid of it totally. Wakes up at 3 a.m. He's a bit narcoleptic. 504 and 408. Okay, so we did improve both fitness and strength. I think I'm going to keep saving that for the next day. I'm going to get some pain from uh, delayed mon muscle, eh, delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, those 64 kg and rising. Uh, chicken. All right, it's time to keep cooking the meats i feel like those will be the first to go bad we'll leave the other ones in the uh in the other fridge for now maybe cook the ice cream too dude have you ever had fried ice cream or what is it that they make now nah, not uh it's like a mexican dish i can't remember what it is it's really delicious is it fried ice cream how the hell do they do how do you fry ice cream or is it something else entirely that i don't understand yeah fry it is Fried frozen margaritas? What, they just put the margarita in the fryer? How does, how does that even... Ver, oh, very quickly. Oh, like they fry it super fast. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. How do they fry a margarita, though? Oh, deep fried frozen margaritas. Man, I want to go out. If this doesn't exist, I'll be so pissed. <laughs> like, go to the place... Yeah, I came in for a deep... Oh, wait a second. Do not speed up time too much. Okay, I burned it. Oh, no, I burned the chicken. I sped up time too much. Don't distract me. I'm cooking. This has become a kitchen stream. Hey, everybody. It's me, AA. I decided to stop streaming Project Zomboid and just turn into a cooking streamer. It's your boy. Actually, we're just going to be drinking alcohol for the entire stream. I lied. Whoops. Sorry. I uh, failed. Although, we could be cooking it in some type of... Ooh, okay, cool. We got that one perfectly out of the oven in time. Whoops. Let me go ahead and turn that off. There we go. Nice. All right. So now I have all of this meat in my inventory. It looks like this chicken did okay. It should be safe. Cures for corpses also. Thank you very much for the prime. Um, ground beef, fresh, uncooked. I'm still too full now. Okay, but you know, this is the right breakup. Uh, there is actually a macronutrient breakup in Project Zomboid, although I don't think that it affects weight. They haven't added, like, muscle mass into the game or anything like that. Oh, cool. You could make, uh... And I rarely do cooking so much in this game. I think I'm going to just do exercise and eat meat. This is, like, such a... <laughs> This is such a bro kind of thing to be doing. Okay, I will do burpees with a full inventory of ground beef. Ah, this is the life. This is the best way to grow as a human being. Physically. Alright, I am going to eat... Nope, I can't eat pork chops. Am I totally spent now for the day? Nope, I can do push-ups. Alright, but then I immediately die from the push-ups. 
Uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm just going to leave the rest of the meat in my inventory and go to sleep again. <laughs> oh, man. Now, time is passing, though. Time is passing, and we're getting a lot of fitness grind on. So the main idea here is to just get a little bit more fitness for us so that when we... Okay, yeah, there we go. Exercise fatigue. Get our guy actually a bit stronger. See, he's getting stronger way, way faster now. Stronger and more fit. So that when it comes time to go down to raid these next couple of stores and start farming, we'll be able to actually do it in a decent way and not just like immediately face plant and die. Macronutrient breakdown does affect weight gain at decomp. Oh, really? Sweet. That's actually sick. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, all I knew was double up, sh up Chevron down. Okay, so then forgive me forgive me what uh should we go yeah should we go for the paleo diet which is kind of odd because i thought that i would be able to make a lot of gains eating only worms although some things have been added into the game so my knowledge on it is kind of old um i did a test once where i ate only worms for like days i couldn't gain weight unfortunately i wanted to see if i could gain weight from eating like thousands of worms but even if you just eat as quickly as you possibly can um unfortunately yeah here we go i'm too full but this meat just doesn't have enough calories to gain weight i need to eat some ice cream soon <laughs> come on man i gotta get on my ice cream eating i'm in agony from muscle pain i just the only thing i can do here is rest Man, painkillers might have been for the best for this workout sesh. <laughs> you have exercise fatigue. Okay, good. It's starting to go away. It's starting to disappear. God, it's like you just got a flu shot or something. So not really being perfect here, but yeah, 65 kg and rising. I'm going to use this rare opportunity to eat. Nah, you know, I'm not going to wait on the ice cream. Uh, Let's go back in and exercise again sit-ups i will do we want to get all of them with regularity because i think the more of the regularity i think the greater your gain is right okay there we go hmm i don't have any painkillers you, you we have the luxury you have the luxury of painkillers i'm just living up here with a bunch of piles of like destroyed wood and a bunch of water bottles and some meat that people left over from their old houses. <laughs> oh, man. You're like, why don't you just call DoorDash if you <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my god. If we did get a crow uh you know, I should have gotten a crowbar when I was down in the uh hardware store earlier because there are some spots where you can pull up a floorboard and you get a whole board out of it. Um, like if you kind of fail, yeah, just call Uber Eats. <laughs> oh man, how could I forget? I'm so sorry. Whoops. Oh Jesus, <laughs> you guys could go to hell. I, <laughs> I hate. There's nothing I hate more than when, when like I'm struggling immensely through one of my challenges, <laughs> and like people are like, "Oh my God, <laughs> why don't you just do?" I'm like, "I would if I could do that." <laughs> oh. Damn you all. Damn you. I used to play games regularly. That was actually what I, I was... I loved playing games regularly. Um, and then I discovered that the secret of, like, creating an interesting YouTube channel is to torture yourself. <laughs> like, and just do the most unpleasant possible... <laughs> do the most unpleasant possible gaming ideas. Uh, that you can. Okay, I'm still at one out of two uh, carpentry experience, so I, I would like to be able to move the bed, though. You know, I managed to get perfect sleep on a couch, so I'm like, I think this is fine. Let's just use the last of our disassembly on these, um, on these beds. Like, we'll be able to, we'll be able to manage until then, even though that it won't be perfectly optimized, but whatever. It is what it is. Your Taco Bell's gonna be late. Damn you. <laughs> I think that was gonna when I figured out I was good on YouTube. I was like, okay, people just like it when I torture myself playing the game. What else can I do? <laughs> and that, my friends, is where I began experiencing a lot of issues. 
Uh, let's go ahead and build some wooden floors. So the next place we're going to go ahead and walk out to, I think we do need to open this window, although we can construct outside of it. Uh, we will build a wooden floor right here. Uh, whoops, that used to be a thing that you could do. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 95% sure on that one. Maybe they got rid of this in the game. It doesn't really matter because I have a sledgehammer, but... That would have lowered my options in past playthroughs. I did a pa uh, like a Flores Lava playthrough a while back, and I'm pretty sure you used to be able to do that. Or did I... Yeah, I've got nails and I've got planks. That is bizarre. Oh, they removed it. Man, all of the exploits that I used to be able to do, they removed. Like, I was digging up things through a wall, and... Ugh, I really hate that. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, you could totally... What? They removed it? No! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I've seen an image of what the final, like, game plan looked like. I can't remember who it was from. I think it was, like, from an unofficial person. Maybe it was, like, a word of mouth, someone thought thing. But, like, with shaders in Project Zomboy. Uh, or, no, maybe not shaders. Shadows. I don't know what I'm talking about in terms of it, so I'm not going to say it. But, yeah, it looked really cool. Um, it looked pretty sweet. And you should be excited. It makes the current graphical system look like it just looks so good. I don't know what it was about it. Like everything cast a shadow. Well, the other thing, too, that I didn't think that they'd be able to do, which I just saw in the, saw in the most recent Thursdoid, was that now you can... Well, they changed the falling animation, but more importantly, <laughs> it's kind of a funny video of a guy just continuously falling off a building. Um, but, yeah, you can... Uh, Whoops, here we go. They didn't... I, I'm pretty sure there was a time when they didn't think that they'd be able to make buildings taller than they currently are, but now they're saying, like, oh, yeah, you can make them, like, whatever it was, 32 stories, or I have to go reread the thing. Don't quote me on that, but... Yeah, like, we're going to have bigger buildings. It's, it's going to be kind of cool, all the stuff ahead. It's going to be tricky how they distribute off of them. Okay, so the plan from here is just keep going out to more and more buildings so that I could call them all over to that building and then make my way down into this one. But we got to be really careful here because we're going to create a path to us if we do this wrong. And it's going to be extremely difficult to see what's even underneath me. Um, perhaps the most enticing option over there, once we take down that, because that stairway could be hellish, um, we're going to have to be very careful when we go into that. Uh, it's going to just be going straight into the roof of the hardware building, which roofs are hollow, so you could just go through them. They're just like basically air in this game. Um, I do hope that they remove that. Unless if it's already... Has it already been removed? Now that now that I'm being informed of all the things that have changed, I feel like I woke up from a coma or something. What else changed? Who am I? Nah, maybe not that bad. Um, okay, margarine. I'm just going to continue. I don't have much time here. Let's just get a big weight gain on I'm eating like the most... I'm reaching for the top shelf quite a lot here. But I kind of want to get a move on getting to the farming stuff next. Uh, still a little bit of pain. That pain is a bit concerning. What is it? No, not too much pain. Uh, protection, pain... Not really anything of note. Uh, okay, can we do a little bit more exercise then? I mean, it is night. At night. And he's hardly getting any regularity out of this. No. <laughs> yeah, we did squats the other day, but we just lost it because he gets tired so fast. He can't build up much regularity yet. Although I guess his fitness will start to take off as he gets better at this and he doesn't have to just construct stuff all the time. Um, also, what are we looking at in terms of stats? What are we looking at in terms of that? Uh, fitness is improving. We could be walking around with heavier items, though, I suppose, to improve that more. I just think I'm getting to the end of my resources in this building. Um, is that a plank on the ground? Yeah, that's another plank. Cool. I mean, the the real item I'm looking for here is that I'm just trying to extract as much value out of one building as I can. So getting to the crowbar would be seriously good here. Mm, nothing in here. I'm trying to tell how much wood is even left in the entire place. There might not be that much. Um, 
okay, you know what? My character is just so tired. I think I'm just going to put down this plank and go to sleep because he's not even walking very fast anymore. But in the on the good side, um, what increases your fitness is just being out of breath. I think just by walking around right here, we gain some fitness. Yeah, like it doesn't require us to be on top of the zombies. Okay, cool. Look, we have so many more planks over here. I'm going to be able to construct the walkway of my dreams when we get back, guys. All right, let's go ahead and rest because I can't sleep because I'm afraid. And there is a giant horde out there. What is that? That is kind of interesting. I think even more and more are showing up day by day. Yeah, that's definitely like three or four. <laughs> There's way more down there now than there were before. Oh, God. Look at that. What, is, what are we on? Day four? Yeah, there's definitely more showing up. It's only like three. Oh, what do we have? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right, because they only spawned in on the 11th, so this is day three. Day three of zombie spawns. That's nice. Man, look at that. That's good. All right, um, let's go to bed. On that note, fortunately, I'm not frightened by just seeing zombies. I feel like I'm in a plane looking down at something very horrible going on on the ground. And just that I have nothing to do with. Gains. Did I wake up to any gains on my lower torso? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like localized to wherever you did it. So I did crunches the other day. 839. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and carry all those boards down the stairs. Uh, just exhaust myself again. It's going to be pretty miserable. And look, I did actually have coffee in this place. That's fantastic. Uh, the coffee will come in handy later on when we do have to do our looting runs. Um, just not right now. I'm going to grab more planks. There we go. And I always was hoping... Here is my thing on my wish list. I wanted them to make these types of challenges multiplayer. Because these challenges have been in the game pretty much since its inception. Uh, but when they added multiplayer, you could play on a server or something like that. I think it would be sweet if you could play these challenges multiplayer. Like, do it with your friends in the You Have One Day, or do it with your friends in the, um, in, like, the Horde Last Stand Survival. It just makes it into, like, uh, you know, Call of Duty Zombies or something like that. Yeah, multiplayer You Have One Day. I, I don't know. That was my wish list. I never actually got it, but I still, I still hope that it, uh, happens someday. 66 kg and rising we've almost gained 10 kg just pretty much from the food that's in this building and there's still plenty more to go um i probably could have been a little bit more urgent about that but whatever all right so i've made it onto roof number two let's see if we i'm not going to do it today but let's just see what it looks like to bring them all over here jesus This is only day four. Well, you could clearly see the sound radius of my voice pretty well. See if I go over like one more tile, what that does. Yeah, see, there we go. You can see the exact sound radius of my voice. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. How am I ever gonna do anything down there? I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to make a bigger noise too. Oh god. It's actually kind of slowing down the game a little bit. Or no. I mean, there's going to be enough to slow down the game. Oh my god, it's just like I predicted. It's just like I wanted it to be. I wanted this so much. Okay, the next part is going to be really tricky. I have to figure out what we're dealing with over there. So I'm going to have to go in. Uh, how am I going to do this? Yeah, remember the simple time back when I was eating the seven gallons of ice cream in the diner over there? Man, look at that. Where they'll even be... Fortunately, they don't take anything down there, because that's a lot. Why can't I, like, hear zombie sounds? I don't know what is going on. Not the music. No, I just... I guess they're just not making a lot of sounds beneath me, or maybe I can't hear two levels below. Or maybe they're just quiet zombies. Pee on them. Yeah, this is like that moment. Do you remember in the... Oh, God. I wish you could shoot golf balls off of one of these things. God, look. Some of them are, like, in packs over there. 
Jeez. Man, they've destroyed every single window in the surrounding area. <laughs> Oh, it could... Yeah, you're right. It could be my character's hard of hearing. He's not deaf, but he's hard of hearing, so he might not be able to hear anything down there. Wow. So it's actually... <laughs> don't forget, we're playing as a man who's half deaf. Oh, my God. Um. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm thinking what we want to do is this. Ah, what am I going to do? I'll always have a chance when I go over there to come back with the sledgehammer. But I need to see what I'm going up against. Oh, I think I know what I could do to keep myself totally safe and not, like, anger them from here. I'm going to go over there and then I'm going to sledge that one tile. So that they don't have any way of getting past me. They might get in over the diagonal, though, so I'll just have to be, like, kind of careful with that. Um, okay, let's go make our way. I know I could do it and, like, not totally screw myself just because if i slightly open up a gap and they manage to get through like i'm dead in an instant and all my defenses are compromised and the challenge is over i'm just so happy that i've made it this far this challenge is so difficult to get it to work out like exactly the way you want it to but okay yeah here is what i'm going to do if i go one then two then i sledge this diagonal tile and maybe this one over here I'm pretty sure I can totally prevent them from ever getting up there. Build a fence. Maybe building a fence. Actually, I don't know why Why did I poo-pooed your idea. Ha, build a fence. Oh, God. I mean, will there be anything worth getting down there once I get down there is the question. I need those seeds. I need those seeds, though, to start a farm on the roof. <laughs> I have one ambition in life. Just one ambition to start a farm. Yeah, I think my frame rate is slightly, like, dipping now. As soon as more of them get off the screen, I I think they'll, uh... Yeah, there we go. My frame rate is back. Uh, <laughs> uh, this day keeps getting worse. Um, okay, yeah, I forgot about this corpse. Let's grab this corpse. Now we're going to go back down to the lobby for a second, and we'll see what's down there. Fortunately, I have, I have a lot of food. I can keep surviving up here for a few more months. Uh, how philosophical. I'll get philosophical when I start farming in the land up above. Right now, I'm just straight up scared. <laughs> oh, my God. This is really... A different kind of run. I can't remember the last time I was over this many. This is what I always wanted it to be with the Flores Lava Run. But just this scenario is so interesting for getting them, like, all to actually want to come toward you. And then in the end, in the end, really, the hope for him to actually kill the zombies would be if he can somehow get down there to a point where they're not around him. If he can get fit enough that he can basically run around as much as he wants. And then if he could light a fire and run them all over it, far away from this building. Um, and all of his farms that will then be on the upper floor. That would be the only way... That Babbage T. Quandale Monroe could actually kill this many zombies. Um, otherwise, it is basically hopeless for him. Um, or, I mean, it, I don't want to say that it's hopeless. He could survive here farming as long as he needs to. But, I mean, yeah, let's keep testing it out. The one thing that I've heard with this scenario, and I'm still kind of trying to figure out, is whether um, I may just end up going through all of this in one sitting. like, Or just leave my computer somehow running with it paused. <laughs> because uh, I've heard that if you exit out, then they stop spawning. I'm not sure if it's going to make a huge difference at that point, but um, I was told that they patched that out so that it actually does work. Um, okay, I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and keep disassembling because I just I simply need more planks. Um, I'm starting to run low on planks, and now I'm thinking maybe it wasn't such a good idea for me to make such a twisty, turny path. Like, I may actually have to go down there and fight some of them off. Well, not fight them off, but, like, divert them, you know what I mean? How do I plan to find dirt? Um, 
I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm going to need a sack and I'm going to need some dirt. That is also a question. That is a very good question. I do not have an answer for it. Um, I'm going to cross that bridge, pun intended, when I come to it. Um, yeah. <laughs> See, these are the reasons, like, we've already... I know I've kind of cheesed it to begin with, but it's still going to be urgent. Like, what do I have to do by the end? Because there's going to come a time when we reach ahead. And I will be... I will be running out of food, and I will not have as many more options left as I seem to have right now. Right now I'm sitting in this cushy time when everything is so safe and convenient for me, but it's going to get worse and worse over the next couple of weeks when I start to run out of food. Although, you know, there's plenty in the fridge still. I'm going to go eat a lime. Hey, eat a lime for private lime. Hooray. Okay, 66 and rising. It's a good reason, though, to eat, like, um... This kind of stuff. Here we go. Grapefruit, carrots. I will eat this produce just to, like, tide myself over. Let's go ahead and cook some more of the meat. Yes, cook more meat. Um, more fresh, uncooked sausage, uh, pork chops, and then I'll handle the vegetables at the end. I just don't really feel like handling them right now. Um, okay, time for more cooking with AA. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Cooking with AA. Today we're going to make some tasty meat for you and your family. Uh, it's not human meat, uh, and it is edible uh, this this time. There we go. Woo, it's done. Put it on a plate. Wow, you earned it. Good job. Uh, I think I forgot something. Wasn't there a third one in here? Well, as long as I turn off the oven, I think everything should be fine. Did I eat it? What happened to the other one? Press X to doubt. Um, that's all that was took. <laughs> Sorry, I, I love, I love that reference. <laughs> ah, Shemam, that is very funny. Hmm. All right, I will put all of the water dishes and things like that on the ground. Man, there's something about Project Zomboid, playing it in the fall, that just gets me extra crispy, you know? And tenderized on the outside. There's just so much produce in here, though, that I'm not as worried about us. Like, we're going we're gonna to make it up to 80 kg. No problem. And then we'll probably start being more worried about... Uh, I mean, we have been more worried about losing weight or just being underweight. But we're, we're going to come to another time soon. Things have been going this way, and then they're going to go another. And then the bad times will come. All right, good. We got another plank out of that one. The sooner we can get the, uh, I guess the one downside to doing all the chairs first and not doing the beds is the fact that the beds do give us a lot more experience. And it'd be nice to get at least three carpentry. Ooh, look at that. Three whole planks. Four! Oh my gosh, I'm being spoiled. Wow, how nice. I'm sort of starting to think that I don't even need to exercise just due to the amount of, like, lifting that I'm doing. I'm not really getting much stronger, though. It's like a farmer. Mm. Oh, rainy days IRL with Zomboid. Yeah, I mean, although rainy days IRL with basically anything are better. To be fair, bro. Although I agree with you. Four planks. Okay, that should get us across to the next building. Um, oh my god, what was that animation? <laughs> it just like got all turned around. Right, um, let's go ahead, fill our empty bottle, end the thirst, and now we're too exhausted to do anything, so let's just wait a little bit. It's getting to be night again. And good, we will go to sleep. Let's try to get a, kind of a normal... There is something nice to be said about a normal sleeping schedule in this game, because the night is necessarily dark, and also I can't see very well at night either. You ever find that your vision is getting worse at night as you get older? Like, I can't see as well at night now anymore. I'm not, like, I'm not getting that old. Okay, there we go. Power is still on. But still, like, it does tend to happen. Not night blindness. Like, I could still see, but just my night vision isn't what it was when I was a kid. It's getting worse than it. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. 64.48. 
Right. I want to make sure I don't destroy all of my sleeping, like, receptacles. <laughs> my sleeping receptacles. This is my sleeping respectacle. Res I can't say anything. Um, okay, we've got some more w uh, water containment devices here. Teacups and the rest of these. I suppose I could go so far as to do the tin cans as well. But I think by the... I may never be able to survive anywhere else. Well, we could still boil the water, but how will we get... Oh, you know, campfire. There's actually something to be said of that. Campfire. Maybe on the top of the building we could use all of this destroyed wood. Although we're going to run out sooner or later. I think it'll take us about a month to run out of stuff. I've never actually played this game this way, though, where you need to... Like, actually store water. It always seems so pointless, but just living in this one area makes it so much more necessary. This is a first time with this type of run. It, it surprises me. This would be like my IRL zombie apocalypse. I would have to get into better shape because I didn't have as much time during regular civilization. At least that's my excuse. What is he doing? That was so bizarre. <laughs> All right, get down the long, low table. I think I will go ahead and destroy the bed just to maybe get us closer to carpentry level two. There we go. He got a nut. Yeah, there we go. He got another experience out of that. Or, uh, he got another plank out of that. Nice, nice. Another one. Another one. We're on a roll here. We're on a roll. A plank roll. Hmm. More books and pencils that I can't read or write with. CD, oh, you love me too. That's so nice. So the one sustained thing is the anxiety and the depression. I mean, the, the tiredness and the panic, that all comes and goes. But anxiety and depression. So the two things about anxiety and depression are that, I mean, they're bad, obviously. But they will make me pick items up slower. I, uh, at least the depression will. Very much slower. So we're going to need to drink a lot of orange soda and arguably beer. Beer will make us happier before we go down. I don't really know why. I mean, I don't find drinking alone to be very much fun. Uh, fortunately, uh, if I did, I would have a new set of problems. But I don't. Orange soda. Well, if you have enough orange soda, it could cure your depression. Dude, I had some ice cream today. Started to cure my depression. Felt a lot better. Orange soda, alcohol, ice cream, and, um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, not eating a, maybe eating a book is always also a good solution because the books just disappear in this game. There's no reading. No one has ever read a book in Project Zomboy. They, they only eat them. Man, good bandages in here too. This place was stacked. This building isn't always this loot friendly we did get a pretty lucky spawn here we got a pretty amazing spawn in this run um but that being said it was the most likely one to survive after all of my trash tier runs uh and just unfortunate general things happening to me i'm now just <laughs> the playthrough came so close to ending when i got nearly bit by those two zombies um okay here we go more of this i've also gotten pretty good with the power staying on I wonder how long the power is set to stay on in this scenario, too. We may actually just get really long power, but I'm pretty sure it'll go out before long. Or maybe not. If it doesn't, then we'll be in better luck, because then we could just keep... Well, we could keep getting water for a while up here. Eventually we'll die. Baked Beastly, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you. Mm. Hummus is a good deterrent for... Uh, yeah. Hummus is good. Hmm. Modern counter. Um, eh, let's see. Heavy load. What have I got? Oh, yeah, I've got three planks on me. Uh, it's still... Ooh, yeah, moderate damage. You can sustain this, though, as a normal character without anything necessarily wrong with him, though. Let's grab a couple more planks. Uh, we're at 84 nails, so that means we've constructed about 16 things. I guess maybe a little bit more. Oh, you know, we wasted a couple of nails because we put up and took down that sheet rope a couple of times. If it doesn't recycle the nail. Uh, not quite sure about that. Let's have another look out the window. I think we are now on day five of spawns. 
So this should be pretty spicy, whatever's going on uh, out there. I don't want to stay out too long, though, because it is raining. And I will get a cold and I will die if I stay out in the rain for too long. Because that is uh, one, of my, one of my only weaknesses, water. Uh, in fact, do I even dare go out in the rain? Um, I may go out for like a, a, a moment. Yeah, I'm about to connect. The, you know what? This is too much of a risk. I don't feel like risking getting slightly wet. Jesus. I thought there were none. I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome to my place. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Man, I can't even turn that fast because how many of them are on the screen? <laughs> hey. Let's see what they do. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to get black groups of zombies. You know, like when half the horde turns black. Okay. Uh, there's like a delay because there's so many of them right now. Jesus. Yeah, well, okay. For one thing, we will have to go over to another building. Trying to think, we might have to go two or three buildings away, but the alarm clocks are definitely going to help here. Um, I think they're coming to this building, though. How did one get, oh no, one did get up on the roof over there because of the sledgehammer. That makes this extra spicy. Yeah, I know, my FPS is like dying. <laughs> okay, uh, let's focus on uh, the positive. I, well, I've been out in the rain now for way too long. Let's go back. I don't want to get wet. Firstly. All right. I'm back in my nice apartment where it's very cozy and um, comfortable. I am at 68 kg. So I am almost not completely underweight anymore. So at least I'm like getting a little bit better in that regard. Uh, my depression is good. Okay. There we go. Bed quality average. Good. So he doesn't have a bad back. Maybe that's the one thing going for you, boy. Um, I don't know why I just basically instantly woke up, but that's the way I am. Um, I will just rest merely then for a moment and wait as the hunger, although the weight gain is up, so that's fine. We can allow hunger to start to kick in now. Now we're going to start to manage just eating large tubs of butter and ice cream and we will be gaining weight but we will still be hungry so we'll still be having the negative effects of being hungry so that means five inventory weight although i think once we get to about 70 kg our inventory size will start to rise either that or strength it might be strength okay still drowsy um whoops i don't know why we got that there babbage t quandale monroe no there he is good good job babbage uh let's see we will Hmm. Hmm. Drowsy, hungry. Hmm. Wait, why am I doing this? Why am I eating it? I I don't know why. I just like force of habit. I just wanted something something enjoyable. Something enjoyable. No, nothing fun for a while again. Uh okay, now I think I will construct the rest. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this though. Let's go ahead and before that rooftop gets covered in zombies, because with that one running over there, I'm beginning to realize this could get hairy. Um, I'm going to put the planks into my inventory. And now we have to very carefully coordinate what we're going to do next. So are you still up there? Okay, no, he has come down from the roof. Thank God. Uh, I'm going to need to basically take out all of these walkways in front of this thing. So I think what we do here... It's been too long, friends. Ambassage, ambassage. Ooh. Hey, Lady Zafira, thank you very much for the five months. Now is the time when I build a floor and then I'm going to immediately take out this square with the sledgehammer. If one of them comes, actually, what would be more prudent... Although I'm like running short on planks. I am afraid. Because he's going to have to put this away for a second. Okay, I'm going to do it right after. And if it doesn't work out, I'm retreating back to the last building. Wait a minute. Soiled it. 
Oh god, what have I done? Um. Oh no, you know what? I forgot that that's indestructible. I gotta be ready to turn and run any second. Okay, I forgot that this square is indestructible because it's at the top of a staircase. Um, all right, I'm gonna need to be more careful with this. So I'm going to have to destroy all of the... Okay, they are going to... Wait a second. No, stop that, Babbage. Stop. Stop. They are coming closer. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. No, that's really bad. That's really bad. Put it away. Oh god. Okay, I have to give up this floor. I have to give up this floor. No, 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 no. This is very, very bad. This is very, very bad. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, dang. Hang on a second. They got through there. Uh. Okay. How did they get over the diagonal? How did they get over the diagonal? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that one got up. 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 Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. This is very, very bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, I have to destroy this. Just, I can't let this get any worse. Okay, all right. They will... That was horrible. That was one of the worst possible things that could have happened. Um... I will tell you what went wrong. The situation may improve slightly. But it's not looking too good right now. It's not looking too good. I don't know what they're into over there. Um, I still have most of the food. This <laughs> The situation indeed may improve. However, look, some of them will fall off. So I could at least attract them that way. Yeah, look, tons of them just fell off. Although now there are a bunch in the bottom of my building waiting to kill me. Um, I have even fewer floors and I just basically have... To, man, I'm feeling like a Matt Damon moment in the Martian right now. Oh, God. So they aren't normally supposed to... Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, this is like that moment when he gets rid of the potatoes. <laughs> he accidentally destroys half of his potato crop. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I, I... I didn't expect them to be able to path so easily over that diagonal. I mean, some of them do fall, indeed. Yeah, see, some of them are falling down. Uh, if only I didn't do it right by the staircase. I forgot that that top tile is indestructible, though, because it's considered a component of the staircase. That's the floor below. Um, and honestly, I am a little bit screwed right now. Okay, I still have tons of time. I'm just going to have to figure out another problem now. Was that the power? That was the power. <laughs> no, God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, why? Why both at once? Oh, this is such a good playthrough. Oh, my God. This, I've never actually felt this tense playing this game. <laughs> no, I'm totally fine for a while. Because, look, I have all of that food and water... But what did I leave down there? Okay, I have my nails on me. I also have the planks. I don't have much carpentry experience, though. I'm going to need to put down a plank nearby there, too. But now I have fewer options because I can't get to that building on the other side either to attract them away. Which I hate. I'm going to need to do all of my fitness growth up here while I continue to try to improve. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Chill. Just chill. All right, what day is it? It's 7.20 a.m. Man, this does not feel like a morning moment to me. I am now suddenly pissed. Okay, sledgehammer goes down. How am I going to go down some Z? You know what I could end up doing? I'm already hatching a few new ideas, but I'm going to need some clothing. I might have to take off all of my clothes in order to get this playthrough to work. I'm going to need to sheet rope my way down, possibly, if that works. But 
potentially, potentially that could work. I could go a floor. No, I would need to be two floors above. It's tricky that I accidentally cut off a whole other floor because I was thinking I could fix the situation for a second. I thought it was just that one, but then there were more. Um, my God, this is like opening up a whole wall. Okay, just think think straight for a minute though. Wait a second, Will the, does the gas still work? Nope, the gas doesn't work. Okay, so I didn't manage to get all that meat in time. Uh, okay, we are going to eat the rest of the mixed vegetables in the fridge. Let's start to handle this. Like, we have enough food to last us for a couple of weeks up here. But let's go ahead and eat it right now. Cool, cool. All right, I'm going to put down the planks. I'm going to continue with most of the grind that I was still experiencing before. Maybe bust down the southwest wall of the save floor and build out and call them over and down. Yeah, possibly that could work. Like to get this one floor back and then I'd have to fight a few. I think that the pitchfork is on floor two though, which was really my only good weapon. So I'm going to have to get stronger and faster before I get them around or just have to get better at leading them. Um, what I'm worried about is how much water was on those lower floors. Ooh, I feel so tense right now. This actually got to be just a serious playthrough. This is great. This might be the most tense I've actually felt playing the game, like, ever. I am very scared. I am very, very scared. Um, ooh. <laughs> like, you know, it's... I don't want it to go out down in some stupid way either. We've survived a week already. This is one week. One week's worth of character development. Uh, wait a minute. Not safe to sleep here. Oh, I guess because there's zombies. Wait, really? Oh, no. I hope I have a... Well, I could always bring the chair up to the level above. Yeah, they seem to have, like, removed themselves from over here. The tricky part is going to be seeing what is on the level below me, though. Like, can I somehow see under? No, I'm going to have to work that out as well. I don't have the, uh, absolutely don't have the materials to make rain barrels, sadly. Um, I don't know why it's saying it's not safe to sleep here, though. It shouldn't be saying that. Let me just go ahead and speed up time, reduce my panic. Not safe to sleep here. I mean, ugh, really? I think that's zombie proximity. I think that's because there's one on the floor, like, below or nearby. It's a good thing that I have this chair here, though. I just barely had a chance to not disassemble this chair. I will put this chair on the top floor then. Uh, just seeing how royally I kind of messed up that whole thing. But think about how happy we'll be when we have those lower floors back. I bet you will get them. Uh, how many floors do I have to work with? That's one, two, and probably the top floor is the next one, right? I think. Okay, so I have three floors worth of food and supplies left. Um, fortunately, I did fill up all those pots with water, though, so I should... Oh, not all of them. I didn't do them on the top floor. I did them on the lower floors. Uh, I think I did a few on that other floor, though. Some of those bottles were empty. Okay, and I do have another couch that I left up here. Good. Maybe I should leave this as, like, my last-ditch chair on the roof, just in case if everything else goes awry. <laughs> Too panicked to sleep. All right, well, we can undo that. I just need to get some sleep. Got to get my head back on straight. Uh, wait a minute. Not safe to sleep here. That's a lie. Oh, come on now, PZ. What's going on now, PZ? Oh, is it because the zombies are in the building again? But they were on the bottom floor to begin with. Come on, dude. All right, let me see if I can sleep on the roof then, because I think that the ro it could be related to that. Oh, close the door. I already destroyed the door. <laughs> it could be that. It could be that. Let's see if I could go find a room where I can... I think I took the doors off of all the big rooms over there. Oh, my God. Oh, wait a minute. This, this floor looks good. Yep, this floor is good. Oh, I still fortunately saved all of these couches. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe the Maybe it was the door closure. Too panicked to sleep. Cool. 
<sighs> Still not safe to sleep here. Why is that? Oh, why am I getting that? We weren't getting that before, and I was on a floor without doors. Not sure. Hang on a second. I'm going to try bringing this chair up to the top floor, and if that doesn't work, then I'm calling this a bug. That would be kind of frustrating. Uh, I mean the roof. The roof. I should be able to sleep on the roof, even if there's zombies around, I'm pretty sure. Because that is very, very clearly a safe place to sleep. Unfortunately, I can't sleep in most of the other places because I'm claustrophobic, too. Clearly, very, very clearly safe. It's totally safe. It's totally... What are you talking about? It's very safe here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'll just put my one chair up. This really looks like a crazy person movie. Um, rest. Okay, my... Uh, I'm not agoraphobic. Not safe to sleep here. I'm on an abandoned rooftop. With zero FPS, because there are thousands of zombies around me. Are they all throughout the park, too? Yep. I've broken the game. Yep, I've already got black rendering zombies. This is not a standard game of... For people just tuning in, everyone's like, What is the... What building in Muldra are you in? Nope, we're not in Muldra. <laughs> We're in uh, the you have one day scenario. Oh god, I can't even run. Um, oh, cool. I can finally sleep. Let's go ahead and just back down and see if this works. This is one of the older PZ maps, but also welcome in. Um, I just accidentally cut off half of my floors, and I will probably not be able to get them back. Yep. That looks pretty bad. They've taken the rooftops that I just took. All right, let's go back inside and see if we can get this going. Um, all right, this one may have the door open, but hey, bed. Too panic to sleep. Okay, the panic is gone and not safe to sleep here. Okay, so now I have to go up on the roof. So now even my bed quality has been ruined <laughs> by my stupid mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Now, the one issue with saving and reloading here is that it will probably cause them to stop. I mean, we'll get to a point where it's just, it'll be like so many that it'll just be irrelevant if any more are spawning in, and maybe then I will save and reload if I get that message again. But, yeah, until then. Yeah, now I'm not even getting the bed message on the chair. Ugh. Refund. Refund, PZ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I will just rest for longer then. All right. Let me sleep. Please let me sleep. What did I just level up in? Fitness. How did I level up in fitness? From f resting? Awesome! My fitness is better! Oh, my God. I might actually have had some chance at running away now. Oh, you know what? I could practice sprinting by running around in circles on the roof and avoiding falling off of it. <laughs> oh my god. No, I will continue to rest. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, a lot of people asking me to save or reload. I will save or reload. Um as soon as actually maybe that's enough zombies <laughs> um you want to try to crash the game <laughs> like it's basically like it's just irrelevant at this point if more spawn in i'm never going to kill them all ever <laughs> i like had some faint hope that i would be able to kill them all before but no, like, even if it does end up bugging the scenario or something like that to save and reload. All right. Is there a fire? Who said fire? No, you are not allowed to shout fire in a, in a building this large. Unacceptable. 
banned from the Discord server. Banned. I don't actually have any legal authority of you, so that's the only thing. And if you aren't, you could join it, and I will ban you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. To panic to sleep. I will give it like one more minute. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm saving and reloading. Um, okay, so now we can actually get a decent look at my surroundings and figure out what the hell is going on. Um, it, it is horrible outside. There are way too many. <laughs> like, will there ever be any hope of getting back down? Uh, I don't feel so safe anymore. It's not just like... It's not just, oh, look how many there are. Like, I seriously effed up this time. Uh, now they're all over there. I think I might be able to win this area back bit by bit if I'm smart. But what I should probably do would be to attract them all over to this side first. Take back the lower part of the building. Ooh, it looks like they didn't go for the rooftop this time, too. If I build... But I don't want to lose any more floors. I'm going to have to be very careful with this as well. Um, I think we just use up some resources here for a short-term adventure. Yeah, like, well, unfortunately, if you could throw a noise bomb out a window, that would work. But I think we're just stuck with it there. We might be able to leave it at the entrance, but that might make us worse. <laughs> like, that might screw us over even more, is my fear. So I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to eat all of this peanut butter. Because this peanut butter is going to make me extremely happy. Uh, and that will cause me to do inventory tasks way faster. But I'm severely depressed, unfortunately. So I'm going to need to uh, use the powers of... Oh god, I'm going to need to use something to make me even happier. Um, I will probably have this entire coffee as well. I'm going to eat the cereal as well. I'm just being a little bit indiscriminate here because I got to use these resources to get back the resources from the lower floors. Um, what else is there to have? Um, melted ice cream will slightly decrease my unhappiness. We need this depression to go away though because otherwise I'm just going to do inventory tasks way too slow. I'm already 69 kg. I may want to wait until I'm 70 kg. But now I'm just considered regular underweight. Wow. Impressive. All right. Um, what else is he good at? He's not particularly good at anything. Uh, elephant tea. Also, thank you very much for the sub. What do I, what am I still looking at? Uh, I could eat some of the coffee. I just want to make sure I have a, like a real game plan before I get in with this, you know? Uh, let's also eat these mixed vegetables just because there's not much else to do here. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to be worth it? I'm just seeing them like... I don't want them to spoil, you know? Uh, okay, now I'm very well fed, but now I can't fit the coffee into my stomach. Uh, agitated, I'm not going to get much around because I don't have any source of cigarettes. Uh, I do have the sledgehammer here still. 4.84 out of 8. If I equip this in both hands... Please tell me that I didn't leave my hammer on the lower floor. Did I leave my hammer on the lower floor? Okay, no, I still do have my hammer. That would have been death if I didn't have that. Um, yeah, I know the frames are getting pretty bad because there's so many zombies. What I'm going to have to do is hope. <laughs> what is our game plan? I don't really want to attract more attention to myself, but I don't want to attract, like, less attention to myself, if that makes sense. I could try casting down a sheet rope and seeing if they tear it down. But I think most of them have gotten less interested just because nothing has happened over here, fortunately. That's that's the biggest thing going for me. I've still got 9.84 in my inventory. What am I doing wrong? Um, do I really need a saw? Hang on a second. Let me just see what do I need. Um, carpentry, I need for a wooden floor, plank, nails, uh, wait a second, do I need the saw in my inventory? Let me go ahead and just take out the screwdriver, because I'm not really going to need that. Um, that brings me back down to 9.24. I'm not going to need a water bottle while I do this. 
brings me down more. I'm not going to need so many nails. I'm going to take these out just because the sledgehammer is insanely heavy. So I need that out of my inventory. Um, 52 nails, still don't need that many. The rope would go down to the plank bridge, although the rope would probably be riskier just because I'll probably just feed myself to them. Um, and then how will I get back up? So I need to go ahead and construct the floor below me. Um, okay, 7.86 out of six. I'm gonna go ahead and just because tired is the worst moodlet that you can get. I'm going to consume this coffee. It's going to dehydrate me a lot and make me unhappy, but I'm already severely depressed. So like, what difference does it make? Um, okay, 11.50 AM, now I'm extremely dehydrated. Now I'm going to grab an entire water bottle, empty it immediately, and then put it back down. Now I'm just at a heavy inventory because I have a plank. Uh, I need to get myself well fed again so that I can muster the strength to do this. <laughs> Uh, I think I have to put down the hammer, the, or the saw as well, just to bring this weight down on the inventory. Uh, what do I do? I'm running out of ideas. Um, okay, now I eat an entire thing of ice cream to try to make myself slightly happier. Not really doing it. Uh, God, um... All of my orange soda is on the lower floor. I just don't really have that many options here. Um, I still have the severe depression too. <laughs> oh my god, do you think I'm going to lose even more floors? <laughs> it was entertaining, you have to admit. <laughs> oh my god, um, okay, I'm auto-drinking it. Okay, I mean, I don't really have many other choices here. I've got to go down... I've got to make myself well-fed again, too. I'm not even well-fed with all the ice cream in my system. <laughs> I mean, we do have a lot of food here. Okay, let's put it to work. Let's put it to work. Oh, I don't have a can opener. <laughs> I'm going to die up here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm getting thirsty again. This is what it. This is what it's like to play. It's just the worst human being on Earth. The worst possible human being. This is like idiocracy. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to go ahead and see how much of the floor I can take back. Um, YOLO. Yeah, that's all I can do. Wooden floor. And if it doesn't work out, let's just see if it, if they start being attracted to me midway through. Okay, whoops, wrong thing. Equip in both hands. I'm going to creep here for this next part, just because I don't want to attract them. Okay. Creeping. Creeping. Wait a minute. No, I can kill this one silently. I can kill this one silently. If I can kill you... Quietly, I might be going for too much here. Man, my extra strength is really helping me here. I just have to kind of hope that none of them heard that. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now in this moment. I have to check if there's any others in this floor that are like, have spread out to this side. Just because they have no reason. They don't know that I'm in here. Like, maybe they do. I'm not honestly sure, but hang on a second. I'm going to eat an entire lemon just to get rid of my thirst. I'm so thirsty, and I don't want it to interfere with my brilliant plan. This is actually going better than I expected, and I don't want it to end here. Please don't end. Okay, all right. I am going to try... Oh, God. Oh, God, no. No, I immediately failed. I have immediately failed. It's only two, though. If I can just get one of them to come up here. Either that or I will just lose more floors. I just can't really afford to do much else here. Stay down, stay down, and let me kill you quietly so that more don't come. 
I have str I have trained for this. I have strengthened myself, and I have honed my mind, my mental faculties. Ooh. I am actually afraid right now. I don't want any more to come up the stairs. Please die. Dude, die. Dude. Wait, what is he even doing? He's getting caught in other animations. What the hell? Okay. All right. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a brief break, like a lunch break. Think of it like that. Uh, but it's not going to be lunch. It's just going to be more water. I'm just going to sip more water out of an entire pot with cooking water. And I will grab that. There we go. Wait a minute. No, I don't. I simply don't have time to do this. I'm just going to drink from the faucet or the toilet. Drink, drink. Okay, so that was another group. The issue here is that the sledgehammer sound effect is extremely loud. And more are coming. That's two more. I don't like this at all. They must have heard that sound of the fighting. Okay. I will fight you, but I will fight you only if you are quiet. Man, my frames are horrible with this. Man, he's not even strong enough. I'm afraid now. I am afraid. Okay, I've fallen, I've fallen, but I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to shut them in there. Because if those were the only two that heard me, and I can take back this floor... Okay, no, there's no chance. Nope. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. I lost the same floor again. Oh god, chat, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. I have to get stronger. I have to get stronger to survive. Oh no! I'm going to die! Oh no! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Ah! I would I put so much work into that. <laughs> it didn't work. I still have to fight those other two that are here as well. Um before I forget about them. I have to fight them off with my hands, I think. Although it shouldn't be too hard to fight them off now, but I'm just going to put down this goddamn sledgehammer. Oh god. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Okay. If they walk over that other diagonal, like one minor miscalculation cost me so much ground right here. And more are getting attracted because of this door. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you get over? You managed to get over the diagonal. Okay. I did not think they would do that. There was a stairway there. Oh, God, really? You tripped up the stairway. Okay, I have to go back and do another room. I have to door kill them. I don't like what I'm getting here, though, because I'm starting to get, like, frame drop issues where I can't even do combat normally with frame drops, so I may have to, like, save and reload, de-render some of the zombies. And then fight them that way. Oh my god. I don't think I can take any more of this tonight. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh my god. There are way too many zombies here. Holy cow. This might be the most tense playthrough I've ever done. No, 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 no. I'm not resetting. I can do this. I can do this. But I need to come back and replan it tomorrow because this is one of the best playthroughs I've ever done. 